Greetings, base friends. Another episode of Chuck's Take 5. Today, we're looking at something pretty cool. The Ibanez EHB 1005 MS. So, the EHB5 has a five-piece roasted maple and walnut neck with graphite reinforcement rods. The body is American basswood, fretboard is roasted bird's eye maple, and it's got abalone offset dot inlays. 24 frets, it's got an in-house MR5 HS bridge, it's 18 millimeter spacing, the neck pickup is a Bartolini BH2, and the bridge pickup is a Bartolini BH2. Surprise! <laughs> The equalizer is a very mid three band EQ with an EQ bypass switch so you can engage the passive tone control on the treble pod. <laughs> So I have a, a particular fondness for Ibanez because way back in the day when I was a real musician, uh, I used to be endorsed by Ibanez. It was my first uh, actual music instrument endorsement. I have the magazine that my name was in and everything. It was great. Um, I've always loved their basses. I love their SRs. I love the ATK models. And this is my first introduction to the EHB models. Uh, you know, I multi-scale instruments, everybody immediately goes to... Dingwall, Payson, uh, and hopefully now Ibanez, right? I mean, I think they, I think they did a really good job with this. Uh, it definitely is a niche instrument um, that I think the demographic of people that are probably going to be gravitating more towards this are your tech metal players, uh, maybe some jazz guys. Ibanez knows the market that they're going for, right? And with the with the flat black and the, and the the it just looks really good too with the the roasted bird's eye maple board and uh, the maple neck as well i mean it's it's a beautiful instrument i love matte black i love the roasted maple look i think uh, a lot of those indonesian companies are really starting to lean on that roasted maple neck format and i am absolutely here for it these bases sound incredible they look incredible i i always look for like symmetry when it comes to instruments because if the colors don't look right or if it doesn't feel right it's always going to bother me i have that rain man compulsion when it comes to synergy and colors and and this this nails it really well I love Bartolini pickups. Uh, oddly enough, I wasn't a fan of the Bartolini pickups in a six string that I, uh, Ibanez that I had played, but these sound awesome. I love these pickups. I love the EQ that they associated with this bass. It does very well and complements those pickups. They're passive Bartolini's with an active preamp that's an onboard preamp that I think Ibanez provides. I mean, 
I think it sounds great. You wanna swap it for something that you know for sure will work great, you can do that. But I don't know how much you wanna put into a base that's retail starting at 1349. Uh, it comes in two colors. It, it's a seafoam green and then it's this matte black. Uh, between the two, I would go absolutely go with the matte black. I think it looks way, way, way better to me than the seafoam green uh, roasted wood combo. This just feels sleek. It looks good, the ergonomics of it are good. Like I said, the balance on this instrument is tremendous. It's great, right? I love that. Um, the hardware feels very good. Uh, had no problem getting, to, uh, getting the strings in tune. Um, with the tuning uh, gears here. A uh, little weird, because I <laughs> off camera I went to do this and I was like, eh, there's nothing there. Um, I love the center detail on the on the controls. Also, one thing I want to point out besides the controls being rad is it's got this Neutric Jack. So if you're clumsy like me and you don't put your uh, instrument cable through your, your strap to keep it out from under your feet, you step on this, it's not gonna yank it out and cause a huge PA problem have front of house staring at you pissed off. Uh, this keeps it nice and in place. And again, these small touches that Ivan has put on this model, well done. It's something that if you're really wanting to delve into uh, the multi-scale instrument world, this is a great investment. Um, 1349, it feels very comfortable. It's very, very fast. The neck feels great. I always like Ibanez necks. Uh, they, they've always been very consistent as, to me as far as their comfort and their playability goes. They're fast. And again, that satin finish is just awesome. Uh, the wood on the back of the neck is beautiful. Uh, I love the stringers. That always looks cool. Um, and again, American basswood or basswood, however you pronounce it, body. I, I'm not going to do that whole argument about my personal feelings towards basswood or basswood. Um, I'm normally not a fan, but uh, honestly, maybe it doesn't matter when you have really good pickups, right? And these Bartolini pickups sound fantastic. If you're a tone wood guy or girl, person, and uh, you, you have arguments on why it does or does not matter and what is the pros and cons of the bass wood or bass wood to be used in a body, please drop it below. I love reading all that stuff. If you think a two by four with pickups would sound the exact same, if I put those Bartolinis on a piece of wood and tone wood is for flat earthers or for round earthers if you're a flat earther, whichever one you don't like, tell me that too. I wanna to hear that and I wanna see that. Uh, I think Ibanez nailed this. I love the body shape. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. They spared no expense uh, on the part that everybody's looking at, right? And that's the neck. The fingerboard and the back of the neck are great. The wood feels uh, feels and looks amazing. And the abalone inlays and the, bio, uh, the, and the luminescent dot, side dots, all nice touches. Well done, Ibanez. This bass is great. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this bass in the comments. If you own it, tell me your personal experiences. Has it treated you well? Does it hold up? Is it durable when you've taken it to gigs or shows? I want to hear it. I want to see it all. Let me also know what you thought about some of the other videos. We got Dave Shorty's that's taken, uh, taken kind of front seat too. If you're looking for short scale information, Dave's got all the info on that. And we have Fuzz Fridays as well. Lots of stuff going on. But let's cut to Josh now. This is Chuck Bailey with Take 5 and the Bass Channel. We'll see you next time.